hello friends welcome to another video in today's video we will talk about a very interesting topic as you have already seen the thumbnail and the title of the video we will talk about the trend but why today's topic is quite interesting today's topic is quite interesting and i do believe it quite interesting is because this is the this is the, this is the subject we have heard like this is the one of the first subject we have heard when we came into the financial market. If you are in a financial market for a while, I believe that you have heard about this term. Okay, trend following, or trend is your friend, or trend following is the best method to become a successful trader or investor in the financial market. Everything is okay, friend. Everything is true. But if you do not know, how to find the trend if you do not know how to find this friend in any market then there is no use of all this talking so friends in today's video i'm going to teach you how you can identify a trend in any market of the world whether it's a forex gold crypto or indices or any stock market of the world or not only on the markets but you can use it on any time frame whether it's a monthly weekly daily four hour one hour 30 minute 15 minute five minute any time frame guys you are going to use the same technique the same method i'm going to teach you in this video to find a trend in any market on any time frame so without wasting any time let's start the video so friends when we are going to talk about the trend if we are talking about a uptrend what we are looking for in an uptrend guys we are looking for continuous higher highs and higher lows or we are looking for continuous breaking of higher uh, continuously waiting for breaking of our highs and making of new highs i will i will tell you how same for same is true for the downtrend we are waiting for the lower lows and the lower highs or we are waiting for consecutive breaking of our lows and making of a new low so let me explain you first and then i will take you on the uh, chart and i will explain you how you can find it on the chart after that i will also explain you how you can see the transition from the uptrend to the downtrend on the same chart or from the downtrend to the uptrend and accordingly you can you can take your trading decisions and can avoid many losses once you see this kind of price action in the market so friends if we talk about the uptrend what we are looking for suppose we start from here we have a high then we are making a pullback now this pullback should not be below this one i mean the price should not close below the previous low so we have a low then as i said we have to consecutively break our highs so we break this high and now we are waiting for a pullback again this pullback can be anywhere between this point and this new low so we will make a low now what's happening guys we have this high so new high is higher than the previous high new low is uh, higher than the previous low now making a higher high again higher low this high broke above the previous high as i mentioned then higher high broke above the previous high it's a higher low and we have a higher high broke above the previous high so this is how we will look for a bullish structures are uh, uptrend in a market all right so how will you see the transition happening in the market like from uptrend to the downtrend how we will come to know that the downtrend is going to start suppose friends we do not make a a higher low here and the price close below the previous low so now in this case we will shift our buys from bullish and to bearish but still we cannot confirm it's a downtrend because we will wait for few structures same like in the uptrend we have the higher highs higher lows so here if it's a probable downtrend we will be waiting for few structures lower low and the lower high to confirm that we have shifted our trend so we had a new low and now we made a new lower high which is lower than the previous high now this low as i mentioned for a downtrend we need to make continuous lower low or we need to continuously break our lows so we break this low made a new low 
lower high, lower as compared to the previous high, breaking the lows again, making a lower low, lower high. So like these guys, we are in a downtrend. So we started with the uptrend, we had a transition, we went to the downtrend and now might again because this is this keep on going the price here we made a lower low now after that price just close above the previous high so here again we will stop our bearish buys and we will start looking for bullish trades because there might be a shift in the trend so we have we because we have the higher highs so now we did not close below the previous low we have a new low which is higher than the previous low and for uptrend we have to break above our highs so we have a higher highs higher lows higher lows a uh, higher highs guy so that is how guys we will move we will have a mo movement for the uptrend for the uptrend for the downtrend for the uptrend again and that is how like in this area we had a transition from uptrend to the downtrend in this area we had a transition from the downtrend to the uptrend this is how it's going to work so now let's get to the chart i will explain you how we can uh, i'm on usd jpy daily chart at the moment and uh, let's start from here guys so suppose this is a high we had a low right lower low lower high now we had a lower high so we say okay we are in a downtrend but all of a sudden price broke above the previous high okay so hold on hold on hold on we are not in a downtrend the price close above the high your price close above the highs so to continue the uptrend we have to wait for a few higher high structures so we will wait what happens so now what price does price close below the previous low okay price close below the previous low so what we are waiting for we have to wait if the price close above the previous high we will start looking for higher high structure if the price close below the this low we will start for we, we will start looking for bearish trades or the continuation of the downtrend so what happens guy we have this uh, lower high which is low as compared to the previous high and this low was compared to the uh, low this was a lower low as compared to the previous low so now after that what happened we will come here guys because this low did not close below this one and we also did not have any close above this level so this is a lower low so we because we break below the low so we had a new lower low and lower high because this high is lower as compared to the previous high we have a lower low lower high lower low and here guys let's delete this one so as we can see here we are in a continuous downtrend making the lower lows and the lower highs now what is happening here we are in a downtrend we are here so what we are expecting we don't expect the price to close above this one and we expect that okay price should make a high which is lower than the previous high and should keep breaking the lows in order to continue the downtrend but the price doesn't think so so what price does price break above the previous high so once the price break above the previous highs as i explained you that the transition can happen and you have to wait for few more structures to confirm what's happening in the market so if we have this higher high we are waiting what happens next we have this low and we have a new high this high broke above the previous high so right now what we are having we are having higher high higher low higher high so we started making new structures for the uptrend so we will keep our bias bullish uh, we will keep our bias bullish until we see any kind of transition to the downtrend we have a higher low guys higher than the previous low higher high higher low higher high so in this way guys you can find the uptrend, you can find the downtrend, and you can see how this was the downtrend, this was the uptrend, and this was the area where we see the transition from the downtrend to the uptrend. And 
and if we if we go forward we will see again that the price will start going downward again will continue the downtrend so the uptrend downtrend these are the continuous process one after the another this is how you are going to find out uh, a trend in the market and guys this is the simplest method i'm teaching you you can use it in any market on any time frame depending upon your trading time frame you can use it guys so that was it friends about the trend and how to identify the trend i hope you liked the video and if you really did please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel to support youtube algorithm thank you very much see you in another video